Hey friends, it's Destine with Fearless Ministries and I am so excited. I am here in the studio and it feels so good to be in here creating. I've had God has just been blessing and blessing and opening up so many doors and so I'm really excited to share with you the piece that I'm creating for um, an event this weekend. It's not like a big um, typical event that I speak at. I get a five to seven minute slot which is awesome. I get to share with over a hundred women about what Fearless Ministries is doing and I'm really excited about that. So if you were at our fundraising banquet a year and a half ago in November at Florian Gardens, you remember the really really big piece, I am free the lady with the butterflies? Well let's take that from six feet and scale it down to a about three feet and I'm going to show you the beginning of it and this is what I'll be sharing I'm so excited so you can see it's in progress here um, she's bending down and she's crying because she's going through this hard time in her life and she wants freedom and she's finding freedom up here the little butterfly in her wrist right there it says the verse from Isaiah paraphrased by his wounds I am healed underneath here um, by the silhouette of her face with um, you know all this represents like the messy hair blowing around in the wind and I guess you could say like the blue hair kind of represents the tears and it says I cry out and my God hears me so even though she's in this downward posture she still has her hand lifted in the air to surrender as she's looking down and she's like I know that my God he hears me even when I'm down here so I don't think of this woman as a woman that is just down and out and full of depression I think that this woman is breaking free from that and she's got even though she's still on her knees maybe she's crying out and she's fighting the battle on her knees but she's got her hand held high and with her head down and she goes I cry out and my God hears me over and over the Bible tells us that God hears us that God hears us when we cry out when we seek him with our whole heart that he will be heard and found by us um, down here by her other arm it has the verse, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I that live, but Christ that lives within me. And then here in her belly, so, so important. I'm going to read it to you so I don't mess it up. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come. All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, not counting men's sins against them. That's amazing that God doesn't count our sins towards us. So I'm really excited to finish this piece up. Up here, it's gonna say, I am free. I'm gonna put a Psalm over here. And then there's um, the participants will attach little butterflies coming breaking free out of her back through her hair right there of what they want to be free from so what is it my friend that you want to be free from today it could be that you want to be free from something that holds you back something that's trapping you something that it could be something simple that you've never thought that you could be free from before it could be free from gossip you know, usually we talk about the really big things like anger, shame, and those are big things that we need to be free from, right? But it could just be free that you wouldn't be free from participating in gossip or slander. It could be that you wouldn't be free from always criticizing your spouse or your children. It could be that you wouldn't be free from overeating. It could be that you want to be free from overexercising. There's so many things that we want to be free from, right? And I just want to read to you Psalm 118 of the Psalm that's going to be up here. It's going to be in some burnt paper there. And it says this, I'm going to read it right from the word of God here. And it says, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God, oh wait, my God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The snares of death confronted me. And you can look at this right here as all these snares that are entangling you today. But that freedom is going to burst forth when we put those butterflies in. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I didn't even plan that. I just realized right now that that's what that looks like. Oh my gosh, God, you are so awesome. Okay, um, in my distress, I call to help to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked and the foundations of the mountains, they shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. That's intense. 
It doesn't say that part. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and he flew. He soared on the wing, wings of the wind. He made darkness as covering his canopy around him. The dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness, his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. Can you picture God getting so angry at the injustices of your life that he comes out of heaven like that? Oh my gosh, that's really exciting. Okay, um, the Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the most high resounded he shot his arrows and scattered the enemies great bolts of lightning and routed them the valley of the seas were exposed and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke O lord at the blast of breath from your nostrils he reached down from on high and he took hold of me he drew me out of deep waters he rescued me from my powerful enemy from my foes who were too strong for me they confronted me in the day of my disaster but the lord he was my support he brought me out of, into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanliness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not done evil by turning away from my God. Okay, so it goes on about another 30 verses. And I won't finish reading the rest of it. So you're going to have to go to Psalm 18 yourself and finish reading it. But isn't that powerful? Like the cords of death are entangling you and they're ensnaring you. And, and that's what this is about. It's about finding freedom, right? It's about surrendering on your knees, lifting your hand up to God and saying, I know you hear me, God. I need you to rescue me. But until we get to that part of surrender, he cannot come down here and save you. Until you hear your children crying, Mom, I need you to help me with this. You can't rush in and save the day, right? So they have to cry out to you. So anyways, my friends, I get all excited about this. I'm so passionate. I mean, the word of God is so stinking powerful and I love that I can put it to art and I can help people find freedom and healing. That's what Fearless Ministries is all about and that is the very essence of the foundation of my life. I shared last night that Bible verse about uh, unless unless you build the foundations with the Lord, the builder, unless you build the house of the Lord, oh how did it go? I don't remember. Something about the foundations need to be built on the Word of God otherwise the laborers they labor in vain. So if we're not building on the foundation of Christ everything falls apart and my whole life is being built on this foundation of Christ because I have found so much freedom because I have been down like that so many times in my life just crying out crying out and time and time again I tell you my friends God is faithful to rescue me from whatever pit I have put myself in, whatever pit I have chosen to be in, and whatever pit the enemy has thrown me into every single time. My God delivers every time because he is faithful and he is full of justice and mercy and love and compassion. And yes, there's lessons to be learned in that and there's richness to be learned in that. And that is where we get our testimony. If it was easy, everybody would do it. It is stinking hard sometimes. But we have to keep pursuing, keep surrendering. So that's my message to you guys. Don't give up. I love you so much. Be blessed and get on your knees to fight that big battle. Love you.